Skaldic works. I am Blake, and in the previous lessons or previous um, videos, I have taught you lessons about how to play the tackle harpa. In today's video, I am going to give you some um, some um, basic care and some tips and tricks in order to get you along your way as beginning of tackle harpa. One of the uh, very big issues about the instrument, as well as other instruments, is that it's very temperamental to heat and cold. Um, also, it's very temperamental to moisture and air as well. So you may want to keep it away from any direct heat sources like a a, um, a heater or a air or direct cold sources like a air conditioner. I know you're not going to be sick of in your um, your um, uh, refrigerator, <laughs> but still. Now, another thing that makes it temperamental is that the bridge here can sometimes will fall on you if you're not careful. And if you put too much pressure on the bridge, it will fall over. So be mindful in keeping your um, bridge and your, as well, um, stable as well and nice and tall. Now, Another um, basic um, care instruction is if you're keeping it into a, inside of a case, um, which I have one down here, I'll show you it here later. Uh, if you keep it down into your case, you will won't you may want to add some kind of um, humidifier to it to keep the wood nice and moist or nice and humid in there to where this will. Uh, not the wood will not dry out and it won't be it'll still keep its nice sound there's many different types out there there's some violin ones i've come across i'm not sure they can fit down here they may can fit down in this little hole right here um depending on what kind of uh, shaped holes you have on yours your instrument it, it will um it'll vary um from instrument to instrument of course but either that or like a humidity pack just stick it in there do not worry about ones that like guitars have May work, but you just want to use just a little pa packets and stick it somewhere into your case, and where they where it can have um, contact with the instrument whenever it gets humid in there. Especially if you live in a, in a hot, humid place like I do. Um, another care is to uh, make sure that if your strings get um, um, hair sometimes will come loose from the string sometimes. I have not had this happen yet on me, but my maker said that all you gotta do is just pull them to the ends. And sometimes, of course, this gets um, loose as well, the hair. As you can see on my bow, you probably can't see from that angle. Let me show you if you can see it really close. Um, it's kind of dangling there on the bottom here, but that's not a big deal, so the, uh, you shouldn't worry about that compared to like other violin based instruments, like violin or viola or cello instruments. Now, another care option, I'm gonna pull it here, up here, is if you have an option to get a case with your instrument, go ahead and do that. Because these are a lifesaver. Um, I um, want, this one's padded, this is actually a soft shell case, um, only customized by the maker. It has two pockets, one for small things and one for your bow. So it's really good there. Um, it's also got a nice little shoulder strap as well. But another thing I recommend is if you do get a case, get one that your maker makes because they may vary. These are different sizes. Tackle harp are all different sizes and thicknesses, so I would recommend um, getting a case that fits that instrument properly. Now, if you want, if you have means to buy a 
a, a hard shell case do so, but sometimes that's not available or the maker does not make it. So that was with my with me. I just got a soft shell because the maker didn't make it. Um, now, one of the mistakes I made with the reason why I recommend having a case is because one time I carried this out to like an a outdoors like a vent um, where I where I live um, with a bunch of friends of mine and I was carrying this back to the car and I heard a big big like pop sound. Usually I dismiss that because these usually tend to slip used to slip on me very well. They don't do now as often as they did, but they used to slip out of tune. So I thought this was just that popping out of tune. And then I got back home a few days later, picked it back up, and I realized it was not playing right. And I looked and the bridge was missing. So I had to order um, another bridge. So that's basically the basic here. That's the reason why I highly recommend getting a case as much as possible. Now, going into some trick. Uh, going into that, this goes into our, our little um, tips or tip. Okay. I, re I recommend you to um, get you a second bridge. I have one right here. It's always in my case, which is another tip. Just keep it in your case. Buy you another one, put it in your case. Or two, or three. Because if you live here in the States like I do, you don't find many makers of the instrument. So if you're not making it yourself, then it's best to get one from the maker itself. They always keep the same parts that the maker makes to their instruments because that way it will be in its true form or its true sound. Um, another uh, tip here or trick, I like to call it a trick, um, is to, I mentioned this in my um, pre previous video, uh, uh, my basics video about the tuners when I was mentioning tuning, sometimes they will slip or they will stick. Now when they slip, you would um, rub them down with chalk, which prevents them from, or prevents them from slipping. And that was my makers, the maker of this instrument, um, he um, recommended using chalk for friction pegs. And this is friction pegs only, by the way. And if they, if they're, if they are sticking though, you will rub them down with soap. And I haven't had to do it as of yet. I did, I think I did try to at one point. I didn't to no success. Rub them down with chalk. But but they haven't stuck since, so I haven't been able to worry about that. Another little trick, I mentioned to you in the um, basics of what you need. Um, a strap. If you don't have the means to make uh, to have a strap, you can always make your own. I just picked this trick up just recently, and I just made this today. And this is a little um, strap I made that goes around my neck. I'm gonna stand up. I'll show you. It holds it in place. Okay. The best way to do this is to take like a. I use a nylon cord. I think this is nylon, and I had a loop tied through it. Run the string through the loop run another loop here, which I've tied with a slip knot so it can, or a sliding knot, um, like a double barrel sliding knot, and I um, will tie that and put it around here. And then I cut the string in half, and twine in half the cord, and I ended up making these two little sliders here for adjustment. So I can I can loosen it or, or I can, and tighten it as I need to, and raise and lower as I need on my body. So if I wanted to, like, say, raise it up while I play sitting down and still have it held with me like that, nice and tight so it does not go, then, yeah, <laughs> it holds it for just fine. Now, if I wanted to loosen it out to where I can stand up, then again, we have that option. And... Also, another um, care is keep this thing clean. I don't have it with me right now, but I showed you that I have the cleaning cloth, the white cloth that we can also use as a as a um, knee pad if we're putting this in our lap. So another another trick there, little tip and trick there. 
But um, always take your cloth, wipe it down, make sure there's no dust anywhere. Um, like sometimes um, with me, I am notorious about pulling rosin dust everywhere on the instrument. So yeah, that's a bad thing. <laughs> Get, it'll just get everywhere sometimes, so I just make sure I, I don't get keep it clean and don't get it real sticky with rosin dust. So, um, if you want to, you can actually um, take some um, like oil, some kind of oil or something like that, or even some guitar polish or a guitar cleaning kit that has the um, the oils and stuff in there and and put in there. Um, I think duck wax or what it's called and here in the states. Um, they um, they have um, some nice um, product to put on here. It keeps it hydrated, keeps it moist, keeps it clean, and you will rub down the whole portion of this. Uh, also, another another um, trick or tip I'm gonna give you. Make sure it's a tip. Uh, never store everything together close to your instrument except for um, I would say your cleaning cloth can go over your instrument inside the case but always that's what that um, small pocket is for is store things like your tuner your rosin your little uh, tuning key or tuning um, tool that I have I also keep it in that small pocket and keep my bow in its larger pocket and another little thing I didn't show you is and in this um, particular version there's another pocket here I'm not sure if you can see it on here but there's a little pocket here um, I thought that was a bow pocket a place for a bow and but I was wrong because there's another pocket down here the same thing if you don't hear that it's velcro right there and what I realized and there's also some zips down here that they're all access points to my padding of my of my case and I'm assuming he put those there so you could either change out the foam padding or you can uh, you can um, put like a harder backing or something in there and I may do that later on so that's another little uh, warning for that but also a good um, um, tip there is to or trick is to check your pop check everywhere in your case for any openings and stuff if they if there is any especially from the same maker that I make uh, that I have um, he uh again these cases call separate but they're worth it, every money but the um the uh, thing is if you check your pockets uh, and uh, check for those pockets if they have if you have pockets like that for padding access to your padding um, I would recommend if you want to later on put something like a hard piece of plastic on the outside of that to give it more rigidity then that will really 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 be great so um, that is about it for the for this video um, if you uh, have uh, any questions leave a comment below and I'll try to answer it um, if you um, well, um, please give this a like and also subscribe and hit that notification bell so it, it'll help this boost this um, video and the other videos as well and you can get it out there to other people that need it. Um, and also check out my other videos. Um, and I'll be, this will be the last video in my series for right now. So I'm going to go back to, my, to do some content. I'm going to try to write more and put more videos out for you and, and more original songs. And then. I may get back to actually some lessons or something like that or teach you something that, that I wrote or something. Who knows? So with that said, um, I'm going to um, uh, sign off for here and I wish all the best. Skull. Hey.